Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the CSS, before learning about the box sizing, box model, I will try to explain one of the concepts, so which is very useful for us. For example, let's say that I am having a div element. I am having a div element. Here I am writing the channel name, so Leela Webdev. Okay, so this is the channel name. And here we are able to see the content now let's go to the main.css for the same div i will be using the background color background color of red so background color of red so we have used the background color of red now if you try to observe here so we are able to see the total content the total width the width of this div is taking the total as 100 percent so the default value for this width is will be always auto okay so the default width for this one is always auto so that means auto means automatic <clears throat> it will try to fit maximum it will try to fit with the content with the horizontal space that is available with it so whatever the horizontal space is available with for that one it will try to take it now if you try to observe here there is some margin left between left and right and top and something like that the margin is left so this is happening because of the body so for the body the user agent or otherwise the browser will apply default style sheet something like margin of 8 pixel or something like that so if you try to make this one so now it will take margin of 0 pixel now there is no horizontal scroll bar or anything if you mention the width auto means it will try to fit the maximum horizontal space available for it for it and it is trying to apply the background color so fine now if i mention it as 100 percent then what will happen so nothing happens so this one also behaves in the same way only so where this problem comes is for example if i keep a margin of for this one if i keep a padding of 10 pixel okay when i kept kept when i kept a when i when i keep a padding of 10 pixel now if you try to observe a horizontal scroll bar scroll bar is appeared in this one horizontal scroll bar came why because so here when you mention width of 100 percent means it will try to it will try to take the total width of its parent compare parents parent elements so for in this one the parent element for this div is nothing but the body element so it will take it will it will, it will try to take the 100 percent width of that parent element and remaining padding border and all those things so those are things with nothing but 100 percent plus those all things it will come why because for this one we have set uh, the box sizing the uh, default one is a content box because of that content box we are getting like this so you'll try to learn about the content box when you are going on the box model so this is the basic behavior of the width when you mention width as an auto means so for example if you mention the width as an auto means now auto means whatever the space and all those things left out so in the remaining space it will try to fit this content for example if i make if i make this one as margin of 10 pixel now automatically this margin and all those things are left uh, are are kept so left and right and up and bottom and whatever the available space present in this horizontal it will try to fit this is the meaning of this auto and here if you try to keep it as 100 percent means so now the margin will be applied here but it will try to take the total space how much the body the parent element is taking it's not a body how much the parent element is taking if the parent element is taking something around the total width means it will try to fit the total width and you will get a horizontal scroll bar here so that is the difference between 100 percent and auto and for example let's say that i have removed this width i have removed this margin also now here i am getting this one as leela web dev okay so but this one is taking up to here so if i mention this one as width of 100 pixel if i mention this one as width of 100 pixel now it is matching exactly the half of this one right so this is called as an extrinsic sizing so that means we are explicitly mentioning the size of the width that it should be it should be 100 pixel so now there are two types in there there are two ways in which the browser we can make the browser to arrange the arrange the width of that box so what is only one is an extrinsic sizing and another one is an intrinsic yes, sizing your alexa stop Fathers. so extrinsic sizing and also the intrinsic sizing <clears throat> so extrinsic sizing means we are mentioning the width of the box okay we are mentioning the width of the box whereas intrinsic sizing means we are making the browser to decide according to the content how much width you want to take it so that is called as an intrinsic sizing so when we are trying to mention the intrinsic sizing there are different variety of property values available for the width not only for the width for the height also it is available 
so there are different types of properties available for that one let's try to see those properties in the intrinsic sizing extrinsic sizing means you will mention the 500 pixel or 500 em or 5 em like that you will be mentioning now first one comes the min content okay so first one comes the min content so if you mention this one as min content here see automatically the width of the content has been shrink so that means we are telling that to take the minimum content possible the minimum content here is so what uh, whatever the word so single word is having the highest uh, whatever the single word has the highest width that width it will be taken as the total width for example let's say that i am having a longest word let's say that here i am having a longest word so this is a longest word without any space now if i try to save this one <clears throat> this width will be taken as this much of it why because this word is having the longest width so like this this is called as an min content so it will try to take the min content of this one so this is how the min content works actually so min content means it will try to take the maximum if i try to minify this one what will happen let's try to see it so i will try to minimize it further let's see what will happen so if i try to minimize further see now this one all it is not collapsing so it is taking the horizontal scroll bar so that means the minimum width it is having right minimum content so according to the minimum content it is trying to maintain the width so the another one what we are having is for example let's say that let's try to remove this one also so the maximum word length which one is having so that will be taken as the minimum width so here lila is the longest word so that is the reason it is taking this lila as the longest width now let's say that i am having a max content so another property value is the max content so here the max content as long as immediately we mention the max content so here the width of this one so will be set the browser will calculate that one how much content is having further width that much can that much width only it will take it <coughs> this is the <coughs> benefit of the maximum content but the downsides of this maximum content is for example if you are if i am having a long text okay so this is the long text i'm having so let's say that whether it will automatically wrap the content or not so if i try to save this one see again a horizontal scroll bar has been applied for this one why because maximum content means it will try to take the maximum space available so now it will not come into the new line so it will take the total content okay whereas auto it will try to fit the content according to the width if i try to take it as auto see it will try to fit the content of the parent available horizontal space sorry available horizontal space try to fit it 100% means whatever the parent it is having it will take it but right now we don't have any margin and padding so that reason it is not taking it is not having any horizontal scroll bar whereas minimum content if you try to take so this one longest word which is having it will take the that word so longest longest here it is having i think this is the thing i think consec uh, this one consecutor so this is the longest word we are having in this sentence so that is the total width it has been taken Whereas the maximum content means you will not have any wrapping or anything. It will take the entire line which is the horizontal scroll bar. So for example, if you are having a small text means, so here you will be able to see Lila web dev. So now you will be able to see the background color which is applied up to here only the total, the content only. So if I try to keep channel here, see up to here automatically the browser is deciding how much content width I need to take it. So now if we are having now let's say that we are having a this one right lorem ipsum and all those things so like this we are having right now for example let's say that this is having a horizontal scroll bar now i don't want this horizontal scroll bar automatically it needs to fit so what we need to do is so we have another option that is nothing but a fit content so if you try to use this fit content now see automatically how the auto has behaved so in this scenario only it will behave let's try to apply margin how it will behave let's try to see margin of 100 pixel so if i try to keep a horizontal uh, margin of 100 pixel or otherwise margin of 10 pixel see now it has applied <coughs> now it has applied according to this one so the, no, previously for this 100 uh, percent what it is happening uh, previously for this 100 percent so it is take it, your horizontal scroll bar is coming so but when you are having the but you are in having margin 10 pixel like this means automatically this one will behave as a auto width will behave as an auto so then what is the difference between this auto and fit content is for example let's say that we are having a lila web dev okay i want to take as much content it is having so here if you try to see here the lila web dev the red color it is applying only the content how much the width is there how much 
the content is there for example if you make this one as an auto it will take the entire width of that one so if you try to see the entire width it will take but i don't want this type of behavior how much content it is having that much content on release it needs to take means you need to use fit content so then if you use the fit content so how much content is there that much only the background color will be applied so this gives us a more control over the content so if you want to apply only the color to that one means we can i use it like this whereas auto if you try to use it is going out of the box right so that is the difference between this fit content whereas minimum content means it will take the minimum word whereas maximum content means it will take the total thing so fit content is the best suitable for us which we will be using more often when you want to color background color or anything if you want to apply uh apply apply uh, properties to the uh, div or anything to an element so which only fits the content so if you want only that content how much that content should be fit means so we'll be using this one so this is called as an intrinsic sizing so this this concept is called as an intrinsic sizing whereas extrinsic sizing means nothing but you are mentioning the fixed width of this one and all those things so that you are mentioning you are you are controlling the size of the div whereas intrinsic sizing the browser will control the size of the element so this is about the width property and about the sizing property so now you now in the next video what we'll try to do is now we understood about the intrinsic sizing and extrinsic sizing so we'll try to understand about the box sizing so now 100 percent width it is taking so if i try to give 100 percent here so now what it is happening we are getting a scroll bar here right so why this scroll bar is coming is because of the box model feature so it is because of this box model so why because the 100 percent width is taking only for the content box so the padding border and all those things which we are applied so those are coming 100% plus those all the things are cal calculating. So if you don't want those things to be calculated, if you want to control this box means, so we need to understand first about the box model. So let's try to understand in the next video. Hope you understood about this intrinsic sizing and extrinsic sizing. If you have any doubts or any sessions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.